What do I do for a living? I'm a professional attention seeker. And my dad, <laughs> thank you to my dad. <laughs> and my dad, thank you to my dad. Damn! Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. What makes me say that? Yeah, well, what makes you say okay, that? Okay, two things. Filters and makeup. Makeup's lying? Makeup is the most accept accepted lie in society. I'm but, not... Like, so do you think, like, <laughs> also, like, dyeing your hair an unnatural color is lying? I suppose it is, yes. Okay. So, I don't, so reshaping I don't, your body yeah. and, like, working out and giving yourself toned muscles, that's also changing your appearance. That's not... That's not a lie, though. That's you're you're actually making you're a change. You're accentuating your body. To, you're you're conflating exercising and getting fit to make up something that can be put on and removed. Couldn't you compare your beard to makeup since it hides your jawline? That's so true. Yeah, that is true. No. No, not really. How come? It's definitely different. How come? How is it different? In public, he's gonna have it like and. If he does take it off, it's going to grow back as a part of him. Whereas, like, we choose when we want to put on and take off makeup. I don't know. Maybe I'm I mean, up. but, like, you can choose in when you, you want to take off a beard It's changing your yeah. appearance. It's totally different, though. But, yeah, because you contour your face to look a certain way, whereas you can't tell your beard to grow a certain way. Well, you can shave it a certain way. Yeah. Like, you can shave it. Like, I know many guys, like, do certain haircuts or, like... Um, like beard shaping just to like get a certain defined jawline like to make their appearance look different so you're comparing a if a girl says I need cuddles it actually means she wants to be railed I may not be good at many things but I know for sure that I'm good at two things one is overthinking two is eating put my needs are simple all I want is someone to squeeze my butt and tell me I'm pretty. He's a 10, but he's short. Oh boy. Seven. <laughs> he's like a six. He's a six. When I go out in five, three. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks, but I am though. I do not look good. I've never in my entire life had anyone telling me I look good. I'm not that good looking and I'm not happy. So I'm a suck, you know, and that's gonna make people sad. The thing about dating an ugly though, man, though, it's advantages, lady. You date an ugly man, he ain't ever too busy. You can call him for anything. I needed a name for the channel. I didn't want it to be my name because I didn't really, I didn't really like myself. How can I love someone when I don't love myself? I just wish I just felt more comfortable in my own skin a lot of times, you know, because I feel like um, I would be able to be more effective as a person if I could just like, kind of get a, not toil in some of my own, you know, small self-worth issues or mm. like lack of confidence at times. If I get pretty one day, it's over for you bitches. I would just like to announce that it is now over for you, bitch. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I had a bad day. I need some oral support. Don't you mean moral? I know what I said. If you can't read the small text, it reads, My Roman Empire is being the girl that's the placeholder, the girl who is used for her body, the girl before the long-term girlfriend, the second choice, the one to show what unconditional love is only for them to give it to the next girl, the girl who they never commit to because they need to focus on themselves, the girl they always come back to apologize to because they realize she was really special but it was too late, the girl always being lied to about other women, just the girl who's always an option. That's the sequences of sleeping around. You 304s become fun only and a placeholder. And soon, once you hit that wall, you can't even be a backup to a hookup during a dry spell. That's the MGTOW reality. Car. Get out of the car. What are you doing? What you is just this about? Get out of the what car. What is this doing? Get out of the car. Ma'am. 
Ma'am, ma'am, get away from my car. You can't run me over. Two of seven shots fired. Now they're allowing Karens to become cops? So instead of asking for the manager, they are your manager. Welcome to the gynocentric dictatorship. And a reason why she fired, because he didn't listen to her and she got butt hurt. Think about that. Power trip from authority, rather than naturally assured authority, results in poor attempts to flaunt the authority. Similar to the corruption of liberal institutions that act based on legal authority rather than natural legitimacy. If you think female bosses or females with power is bad, imagine them having the authority to delete your life. Yes, female cops are more dangerous than the actual criminals, because at least you can defend yourself against criminals. Against corrupt cops, you'll get extra charges. And according to one Twitter user who read an article about this embarrassment, he said, Both are facing felony battery on a police officer, reckless driving slash eluding officer, obstruction of an officer in the execution of duty, resisting arrest, and conspiracy. For running over her foot, which didn't happen. Like I said, welcome to the gynocentric dictatorship. Here's what I've learned. Being single seven months after being in a relationship for four years that... Should have left earlier. First of all, take your time. If you don't want to talk to a single male, you don't need to. But if you do, then do it and have fun with it. It doesn't need to be serious. It's not like high school. Just because you're hanging out with someone, you don't need to like make things official. It's what you want to make of it. My personal favorite part is being independent. I am so independent now. I actually prefer to be alone sometimes, which couldn't be me before. I'm not afraid to stay in. I'm not afraid to go out. I do whatever I want to do. I am so content being alone. I have so much fun alone. I've learned so much about myself that I didn't know before. Also, I'm learning to love myself and truly myself. I have my energy back. Like, I'm attracting good energy because my energy is good. I'm so confident. I'm so happy. And my friendships are the strongest they've ever been because I don't have negative energy affecting me anymore. So, you only have to worry about yourself. It's nice to not worry about what someone else is doing and do whatever the heck you want to do. It's fun to take risks and travel and meet people that you wouldn't meet before and just put yourself out there and get butterflies again and flirting and, like, I don't know. It's just fun. And just remember, what's meant for you will find so go live your life because i'm telling you it's a lot of fun translation in womanese she can be a 304 now that she is financially independent and is still young and hot a lot of guys mistaken when these females say being alone with them being by themselves which is not the case they're sleeping around that's the type of quote-unquote fun they're talking about they're by themselves at midnight after getting banged out by chad and tyrone this isn't like most males in their 20s who are alone because they have to figure something out to build value in their life, as in be at least financially stable. And when she ends it at basically saying you'll find your meant to be your true love is where a lot of these females get it wrong. What's meant to be is losing their virginity to the man they're getting married to. Otherwise, they'd pass up their quote-unquote soulmate to continue riding the cock express. And they'll ride it until the wheels fall off. As in, until the high-value men stop talking to them, and then they'll be in panic mode and looking for a man to save them. Then they'll ask, where have the good guys gone? I don't want to talk to any male ever again in my life. What she means is, she doesn't want to be in a relationship. She'll respond to Chad and Tyrone to get piped down, but when the good guys want to get to know her, she'll pass them up and ignore them. The thought in the video makes a comment. And are there months I cried every day? Duh, but it's gotten me where I am now. Healed. So she got alpha widowed, and now she's sleeping around to fill the empty void that the alpha left in her life. Almost a year of being single after being with someone for almost nine years. I am having the time of my life. Girl, I'm seven months post my first real heartbreak, and let me tell you, I'm living the best life. All this is, is 304s realizing that they weren't meant to be in a relationship because they'd rather ride the cock express. They weren't qualified to begin with. That's why they weren't able to be domesticated. Sometimes I'd be thinking, like, what if I'm too damaged to be loved? Like, what if I am? What if I'm like, the reason why this dating shit's not happening for me is because men can actually see how fucked and fucking damaged I am inside. And they don't want to deal with it. I've been thinking about that here lately. I've been trying to be a good person and do good by people. But then I think, you know, I don't know. What if it's actually true? You're a single mom with more baggage than a 747. 
Why would any man want to deal with your past trauma or your current issues? Dating is not a therapy session, yet so many post walls and single moms like you use dating to trauma dump onto guys. And to be honest, the ones that are actually interested just want to smash and dash or have something casual, not fixing a broken female. Or be a Dr. Phil whenever you get intimate with them. Your loud thinking is the realization that at best you're going to be a booty call. But that's about it. Sorry, there are no restarts. No cheat codes, no shortcuts, no do-overs. Let's read the comments. A bunch of comments said, I swear you're my spirit sister because I felt this one in my soul too. Girl, same. I feel this. I feel this so much. And this is the dating pool most men have to deal with in the feminist West. Broken women who are leftovers. Also, a lot of coping comments. The right one will come along and heal all those damaged pieces when you least expect it. You will meet the person for you, heart. I think when you meet the right person, they are going to love you no matter what, like the Joker and Harley Quinn. This is massive cope. Even if, even if they do meet the right man, what's to say he's going to like them enough? Why would a great guy want to pick up the pieces and try to fix a post wall when there's plenty of younger and hotter, less used up females out there? This is what a lot of secondhand females say, yet they say it every year for 20 years, hoping that finally someone is going to love them. Alright, so another comment. I'm too toxic for a good man and too good for a toxic man? No, the first part is true, and the second one is in denial of what she deserves. She chose the toxic men or the d-bags over the good men, because it was more exciting and fun. It's only because of the consequences of being with them, like getting cheated on or mistreated and ended up being single, is what women like her don't want. Get ready with me while I tell you the story of how my dad disowned me. Yay! Okay, so basically my dad is extremely religious and I am extremely transgender. You know, usually those things don't mix very well. Now before I was out as trans, I was actually out as a gay boy. Also, most of the makeup that I'm using today is from Too Faced. So yeah, I was already out as gay, but my dad, he didn't even like that, you know, because it was against the religion. You know, my dad would like pretend that he was okay with me being gay at the time, but girl, no, he wasn't. I remember one time he told me that if I was going to be gay and date a man, that I had to be the man of the relationship. You can't be the woman of the relationship. <laughs> Basically, he's just like anti-femininity. But yeah, I already knew that I was going to transition. I waited to transition until I was 18. So knowing that my dad was so against me, like being feminine, girl, I was terrified to come out to him. I was terrified. Also, I love this Fenty cream bronzer. But yeah, when I did finally decide to come out as trans, first I came out to some of my close friends and then I came out to my mom and sister and they were all supportive. It was great. I was very lucky in that regard. When it came to my dad, I was literally so scared but my stepmom and my dad were living together at the time and they lived like over an hour away from me so i decided to call my stepmom and tell her over the phone that i was starting my transition now my stepmom is great i told her she's very supportive i'm very lucky to have her as well but after i told her she asked me if i wanted her to tell my dad also because they lived together so i was like okay whatever might as well get it over with so she told my dad about my transition he was not having it girl he was not happy you know i feel like my dad always knew that i was gonna transition because not too long before this he was on the phone with my mom for some reason and she was gonna tell him something about me but he like cut her off and he was like he's not turning into a woman is he <laughs> he knew Girl, he knew. But anyways, after my stepmom told him that I was transitioning, he was upset and I did not hear from him at all. It was radio silent. But then unfortunately, like a week after I came out to him as trans, uh, my dad's dad, my papa, passed away. So I had to go down there and visit for his funeral. You know, it was all really sad and it would be the first time that I was gonna see my dad after he found out that I was transitioning. So I didn't wanna add too much fuel to the fire. So I went to the funeral appearing as a boy after the funeral was done i went back to my dad's house with some family this man then sat me on the back porch and gave me a 45 minute lecture 45 minutes of every reason that i was going to burn in hell and mind you i was like freshly 18 just trying to discover myself so to say that was traumatizing is an understatement and my dad is like literally a part of a religious cult so he did not go easy on me it was brutal he just told me I was going to burn 
let's let me just leave it at that yeah that conversation was very hurtful but but i held my ground bitch i told him basically okay cool i don't agree i don't believe in the stuff you do you're not gonna change my mind i'm an adult this is what i want to do and i didn't talk to him for a while after that but my dad is a big part of why i waited until i was 18. he made me so terrified of being feminine like he used to get mad at me if he saw me playing with my sister's barbies he used to get mad at my mom because she let me have a blankie when i was a little kid and it was too girly before i transitioned i would wear makeup and stuff but the thought of like actually committing to a transition was just so scary to me but yeah after he gave me that lecture he would call me or text me like every other month to tell me that he's praying for me and he hopes that i turn back he would send me links to youtube videos about how the world is gonna end soon and i need to repent he was like trying to scare me into submission basically but then one day he sent me another link to one of his doomsday videos at this point i was fed up and i had already gotten everything like legally changed so i responded to his text and i was like what's my name in your phone and he said that he had me saved as my dead name for my contact in his phone and i told him look my name is legally changed i am legally zaya i'm not your son anymore i'm your daughter if you cannot address me as who i am then just don't address me at all don't message me again if you can't respect who i am and yeah he did not respond to that at all and in 2022 he found out that i got my gender reassignment surgeries and he's wanted nothing to do with me ever since i was officially disowned i almost saw him last year though at my little sister's softball game but he found out that i was there and he would not come he refused to even be in my presence so basically my father would rather disown me than just learn to love me as i am now and i'm okay with that i'm i'm an adult I'm living my own life and I'm moving forward and I'm healing on my own. Plus, I think the only reason my dad wanted a son was to raise someone to be the man that he never lived up to be. Plus, like my whole life, he refused to pay my mom child support so that she could, you know, give me basic necessities and raise me. So yeah, I feel like he never truly cared about me anyways, but it is what it is. I am who I am and life goes on. I'm unapologetically me and I will continue to be. So his loss, honestly, and yeah. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Oof, I look good. <laughs> of course his dad isn't with his mom. This is what happens when you lose a custody battle. Imagine being forced to pay for 18 years only to have your son to want to be a girl instead of a doctor or accountant. It's just suspicious to me that kids in the feminist West are now indoctrinated by the LGBTQ agenda from kindergarten to high school, and add the fact that he was raised by a single mom who probably said a lot of bad things about his father and dogged a lot of men, all added to his psyche. Anyways, this is also what we have to look out for when dating. Some transformers who aren't going to be honest about what they were born as. You may easily be able to dodge this bullet, but what if you had a bunch of drinks at the bar and you couldn't consent to see things clearly? Top comment asks, if he's super religious, how he reacted to your OF. It has an OF? I guess he really wants to be a thought. That's an indictment for today's females, that trans think they have to be streetwalkers to be a modern woman. Another comment, you're brave, and I literally love you so, so much. And no wonder why females and alike ruin their lives so quickly because they get cheered on by feminists on social media. And brave doesn't have the same meaning anymore. Before, it used to mean running into a burning building to save a kid. Now it means to pretend to be a woman. Another comment. This is an example of, if you can't accept a queer child, don't have kids. So proud of you, Zaya. The Orwellian doublespeak is on another level. People have kids to future their genes and family tree, not for them to pretend to be another gender. We live in a sad society where males strive to be more feminine and womanly than actual women. But there's more. Does your boyfriend know that you're trans? I actually don't know, so. <laughs> Let me go ask him. Baby. Mm. Do you know that I'm transgender? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm serious, you know? You know that I'm <laughs> Do you know that I'm trans? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're what? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> you know my tea? Hmm? I don't care. No? No, I love you. Mm -hmm. yeah, my man, my man, he love me. He always
boy told that Glock when he's selling weed. I said, my man, my man, he love me. He always told me. My man just went to work. I'm sick and tired of y'all bitches in the comments. Every single time I post him, y'all are like, oh my God, does he know? Does he know? Does he know that you're trans? Shut the fuck up. Like, God damn. Is it really that surprising to y'all that there are men out there who will openly date a transgender woman? Oh, give me a goddamn break. Trans women don't always have to be someone's dirty little secret, the fuck? And even though I do have the surgery, gender reassignment surgery, I've always told everyone who I've dated that I'm trans. I'm not trying to get harmed, bitch. But yeah, we've been dating for over a year. He's always known that I'm trans even before we started dating. Like, not that big of a deal. Cut it out. Cut it out. Even an it can get a boyfriend. That just proves once again that females live life on easy mode, or something similar to females like trans. Maybe the dude that's dating the other dude in a dress is bi or half gay. At the very least, he's a male feminist. Comment below if you think a man who dates a trans is suspect or in denial about being fruity. In a couple of years, this dude will be on Grindr. Or maybe he's a real incel, you know, raised by a feminist single mom, as if a single mom was bad enough. A feminist single mom is the worst outcome supercharged. And this is all what he can get. A female knockoff. As long as he knows it's a trans. Again, this is the shit show us men have to deal with in the West. And another reason why men have gone MGTOW. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, Hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.